Hello everybody, I hope that you are well and welcome to Bangkok. First of all, I'm very sorry about the background noise. There's nothing I can do about that right now, but it's fine. Um, I'm currently in our hotel room. It's called the Chillax Heritage Hotel in the middle of Bangkok. And it's our mandatory hotel quarantine, which we just have to stay in for one night. We've already done the one night and we have received our negative results, which is amazing. We can go and explore Bangkok right now. You may have realized I've not yet filmed a packing video and that is exactly what this video is gonna be. Normally I would film what I'm packing and show you how I'm packing it before I leave. To be completely honest with you, I didn't even have time to do that before this trip. And so I'm gonna be showing you what I've packed. So it's gonna be almost a bit of an unpacking, except I'm not completely taking everything out. I'm just gonna show you what I have packed in my backpack. So without further ado, let's get started. So as usual, I have taken my Eagle Creek Global Companion in 40 litres, my trusty, trusty backpack. This fits in as carry-on luggage, which is great because I was flying Scoot Airlines and I had no checked-in luggage included. This was just included in the flight. And then I also brought with me this. I have a new valuables bag. Like this carries like my laptop and iPad and stuff and I'm not gonna show you through this bag in this video because I think it deserves a video all to itself. But just so you know, this and this and my backpacking solo shop bum bag were all the items that I've taken with me on this trip and they all fit with me in as carry-on. So, my Eagle Creek backpack. What have I packed for this trip? Well, let's start off with the outside of the backpack in these little side pockets. A bit of a rogue way to start this video. I have about 10 of these Nescafe cappuccino sachets. Basically, I just found myself using these all the time in Turkey. When you're in a hostel or a hotel and you just have a kettle, or maybe they've provided you with coffee but it's not the coffee you want, it's just really nice just to be able to make your own coffee and not have to purchase it every time because I am someone who likes coffee every morning, if not twice a day. I just quite like these, the Nescafe Cappuccino. I just think they turn out to be quite nice and it's just a much more cost efficient way of having the coffee every morning. So I have like 10 of these and I'm hoping that I'll be able to get more of these along the way as I travel through Thailand because they're just quite common, you know, generally worldwide. So I've just filled those up in the outside of my backpack. Um, in the bottom section here, we have a shoe compartment, which is where I am keeping my Birkenstock. So I'm using my, and I'm gonna take these out actually because I'm probably gonna wear them today. These are gonna be the shoes that I'm pretty much gonna be living in in Thailand, I expect. They are the Birkenstocks Arizonas and they are waterproof, they are comfy. I can walk in these for hours. They're actually quite worn at this point, probably need a wash. I don't have flip flops, just sandals, but I do expect to be in these pretty much every single day. And whilst we're on the topic of shoes, on the plane, these were the shoes that I wore. They're just like my Nike runners um, because I wanted to have at least one pair of closed toed shoes for Thailand. So these are basically just gonna be if I do any activity which requires closed toed shoes or if I go on a big hike or if I go on a run or if I do any like sport these are gonna be the shoes that I wear I didn't feel the need to like pack proper hiking shoes because although I expect we will do some hiking in Thailand I don't think it's gonna be mega like all day hiking things I feel like these are gonna be enough and I hope that I won't regret that decision before we dive into the backpack I guess I should show you also what I was wearing on the plane yesterday with those shoes so basically just all of my warmest layers because Thailand is hot it is like consistently 30 degrees every day even at night it's going to be warm so i don't need clothes to keep me warm however for example the plane journey here and for the sleeper trains or if i go on like a sleeper bus if there's air conditioning they can really get quite cold so that's the only time i'm really going to need warmer clothing so for that i've brought my burgundy lululemon leggings on top of that i can just wear any pair of trousers that i've bought so on the plane yesterday i wore my solo trousers with zipped pockets which were just perfect i wore this nude top which i bought from city beach australia it's just tight i don't need to wear a bra with it it's super super comfy but then on top of that for warmth, I also have this. This is my only long sleeve top. 
I don't even know where I got this. It's just a long sleeve crop top. It's just kind of like a, a thermal layer. I don't expect to wear this much at all, only for the long journeys. And then I just have my trusty white cropped Puma jacket. I've had this for a couple of years now. I bought it on a bunch of backpacking trips. I just really like for backpacking trips having a cropped zip up hoodie. Those three features I just find to be what I lean towards wearing and what I like to have just to put on the top of anything else. That was my aeroplane outfit. And now let's move on to what is actually inside of this backpack. So if you've seen my packing videos before, you may know that the reason I love this backpack so much is because it opens up like a clamshell style suitcase. Although it's 40 litres, it just feels a lot bigger. It feels like I can get so much more in there. So I'm gonna start on the left-hand side, which is normally where I keep all of my clothes. Most of the things in my backpack is organized into packing cubes. So my biggest packing cube is this one from Gonex. It's a compression packing cube. In here, I am keeping my shorts, my trousers, and my play suits. I've tried to be as minimal as possible with this trip as usual, but I actually think I did a good job. My backpack, although it's kind of full, it's not absolutely stuffed to the brim, so I'm quite proud of myself. So anyway, in here we have two pairs of sport shorts, one from Jilly Hicks, the other from Lululemon. I have one pair of like these sort of fake denim shorts, so they're much, much thinner material and they're just really really comfy and lightweight. I got these from H&M like a year ago. I have my trusty solo shorts with the zips pockets which are just amazing, so versatile and go with everything. And then <laughs> if you watch my pecking videos before you may know I bring these on a lot of trips. It's my party shorts! No special reason why they're my party shorts other than they're just like, they're just a fun pinstripe and I just tend to wear them for nights out. They've got pockets and they're just a good time. We always have a good time in the party shorts. So as well as my solo trousers, which you've already seen, I'm just bringing one other pair of trousers and that is these blue ones, which I got from Shein. They're kind of this balloon shape, which reminded me of backpacking Thailand in like 2012. So I just thought it would be quite appropriate and funny to bring them on this trip. I had gone off this balloon shape for a long time and then I saw these and I wore them and I was like, oh, I actually quite like these. So anyway, those are my only other pair of trousers. And then I've just brought two play suits on this trip. So I have this kind of gray green one, which is just quite good to go over any beach wear. It's very, very, very casual, but it's very lightweight. I just thought it would be perfect for roaming around Thailand. And then I have this final one, which I think is either Rip Curl or O'Neill. I bought it in Australia. It almost looks a little bit like a dress. It's just really light and flowy. Again, it's just something that just goes great over swimwear. It'll be great when we're exploring the islands down south. Just very summery. Yeah, that's it for that packing cube. I'm really gonna have to pack this up well again when I finish this video. Okay, so in the next packing cube, it looks like this is a packing cube from Osprey. No, yes, it's a packing cube from Osprey. And in here we have all of my tops. I have this strappy, um, strappy stripy top, which has made a return. I bought it in Australia a few years ago. It's such a random little top because like, I don't know why I find it quite so practical and wearable. But anyway, I do and um, I'll bring it on this trip. I have one black strappy top, a gray tank top. I have my two tops from Free People, which are super fun because they are business in the front and party in the back. I just think they're so great for summer and they're great for day and for evening and they're super comfy. I don't have to wear a bra with them. So I really like those. I've brought one sports top from Gymshark. It's just quite tight and like a bit of a compression one. It's particularly good if I'm doing any sport or going on a run because it just helps keep the girls in, let's say. I have brought a sports bra, which I'll show you, but wearing this over the top of the sports bra just kind of kinches me in even more, which is quite necessary for someone like me. And then finally, I just have one more green tank top. I've worn this quite a lot on my backpacking trips and that is all of my tops. And then in the final packing cube on the left hand side we have this black one and in here we have my bras, my socks and I'm also keeping my pyjamas in here as well, the pyjamas which I'm wearing right now. 
Oh yeah, so by the way, these are the pyjamas that I've uh, brought for this trip. Nothing special, they're from Chelsea Piers NYC. Very, very comfy. Just two pairs of Adidas slash Nike socks. Two pink bras actually. One of them has slightly thicker straps, it's good to go under tank tops. And the other bralette has uh, thinner straps, it's pretty good support. Uh, it's still low impact support but it's very comfy and this one's from Gymshark but to be honest the majority of my clothing don't require bras at all which is why I've only brought two. Then my sports bra, this is a shock absorber sports bra, absolutely essential if I'm gonna do anything even remotely high impact or with any impact at all the sports bra needs to go on. Yeah that's it for that packing cube, it's not very full but honestly I just thought for Thailand that that is all I'm gonna need. So also on this left hand side, I always keep my towels underneath my packing cube. So I have a bath towel and a beach towel. For my bath towel, I'm using my pick one from Backpacking Solo Shop, which is great because it's a microfiber towel, but it's super soft and fluffy, and it also has an elastic fastening. So it's not gonna fall down when you're walking from the shower to your room in hostels. And then as for my beach towel, I have a brand new beach towel from a brand called Makoa, and I absolutely love the design. They had some beautiful designs on the website. The towels are made from recycled materials. They're made in Australia, and they are completely sand-free. I don't know if you've heard of these sand-free towels, but they're amazing for going to the beach and just super thin and lightweight, so they pack up really nicely in your backpack. But what I found particularly special about these towels, which is so, so cool, is that in the corner on the bottom side, I don't know if you can see here, but it has a concealed pocket, which is quite big. So basically in here, you can put your phone, you can put your purse and your valuables, and then you close it up and then you lay your towel down on the beach as usual and it's just a good way of hiding your valuables people are always always asking me how do i keep my valuables safe on the beach well this could be an option it's always a hard question to answer because i don't think there is a singular foolproof way of keeping your valuables safe when you want to go for a swim unless you've got someone looking after them or unless you bring the valuables in the water with you but if you're someone who just likes to leave it on your towel, this is a really, really nice option because you can just conceal them. No one will know that they are there. Even if they were to pick up your towel and look underneath, it's attached, it's inside. So I'd say that's a winning situation and I'm excited to use this towel. I will put a link to Mikoa and this towel in the description. And then finally, on the left-hand side, we just have randomly my foot buff. I always like bringing this around just to keep my feet really nice and soft and supple, why not? And we have my mask and snorkel! Very, very exciting that I'm bringing these. Though, I think my snorkel is a bit bent, like not in a good way. I think it needs to be like this, <laughs> but instead it's like this. It somehow bent itself. This is like over a year old now. I don't know if this is gonna be good for snorkeling or whether I'm gonna need to get a new one, but I thought I'd at least give it a go. Maybe I could do like a hairdryer on it to like melt the plastic a little bit and then straighten it up. I don't know, cause it is a, it's a cressy mask and snorkel, so it's really, really good quality. I must've just put it in my bag wrong at some point, which is why it now looks a little bit bent. But anyway, mask and snorkel, absolutely essential, especially for Thailand. And I actually got Jeremy a mask and snorkel for Christmas as well. So we're gonna be able to go snorkeling together. The beach is so much better when you can go snorkeling and just see what's underneath. Even if there's not a ton of fish, it's just nice to be able to swim and see what's underneath. That's it for the left hand side. And then on the right hand side, let's go, let's go with the toiletries. This is my entire toiletries bag. I wanted everything to be under 100 mil that I packed, obviously bringing on the plane in the carry-on luggage. So I have my face fake tan, which is what I always bring on these trips. I have decanted my facial serum and moisturizer with SPF 30 into even smaller containers than what they come in. So I use the Frey 123 set, which I absolutely love. It's amazing. Um, I have a link to the products in the description and actually I have a discount code for you there as well. So go check that out. But I found that the bottles I had at home they weren't completely full and I had like more than one bottle that were both not entirely full and so I thought, you know what, 
let's decant them into bottles where I can fill them entirely. It's just gonna be a much more efficient way of saving space. So anyway, my facial serum and moisturizer are here. I've got hair serum. I just use Tresme hair serum for after I wash my hair. I have some SPF 50 moisturizer slash sun cream. This is just for my face when I'm gonna be like actively out in the sun and I don't wanna burn my face. We've got some facial wash, some foot cream. I don't use this very often, but it's quite nice after you do a little foot buff to do a little foot cream. It's just nice for foot health, you know? Got some mascara, lipstick and bronzer and concealer. Do I have any other makeup that's in here? Some eyeshadow. I really don't wear makeup very often at all on my travel Levels. like I might wear it once or twice on my whole trip but normally I'm quite grateful for when I do get to wear it I do always bring makeup but this is pretty much the extent of it I think I've got some highlighter in here as well I do in order to get the makeup off as well as that facial wash I also have this face halo which I've used a few times in the past and I find it works okay for removing makeup but like I said, I'll wear it once or twice, so I'm sure it will be fine for the times I need it. I have deodorant. I'm using this Mitchum one. It is completely liquid free and it's very, very strong. It's good for sweat, which is good because Turkey is very, very hot. I'm probably going to be sweating a lot. In fact, I'm sweating right now. I like to go liquid free on the deodorants because they can just take up extra space in your liquids bag, you know? I have decanted my favorite perfume into this little travel perfume spray. Is that what it's called? Anyway, yeah, I just thought it'd be nice to smell nice occasionally. <laughs> we have in here uh, my contacts lens box, and then also in here, I'm not gonna get the rest of the things out because they're very, very small, but I'll talk you through what else is in the bag. We have a bunch of my contact lenses. Unfortunately, I only have like seven to 10 pairs, which is a bit of a nightmare. So my subscription for my contact lenses arrives every three months, and they're literally arriving like next week or in the next couple of days. And obviously I'm not there to receive them and I hardly had any left of my previous subscription. So I've got myself into a bit of a pickle there. I don't know if my parents might be able to send my new lot over to me in Thailand. But anyway, moving on from eye care, I have my razor and then in here I also have a bunch of razor heads. I've got some floss. I have nail varnish. This is the color that I wanted to go for for this trip. I tend to always have like a new nail varnish cover um, color for every trip that I go on. And yeah, I really just liked this one. Thought it would be nice for Thailand. I have a bunch of tampons in here. Just those small little ones that don't have the applicators. I'm really not a fan of them but they don't take up very much room at all. They're just useful, you know? Yeah, I have a bunch scattered here. I have a bunch scattered in my bum bag. I have a bunch scattered in my valuables bag as well, just so that wherever I am, whatever pieces I have on me, there's always gonna be an emergency tampon. That's it for the toiletries in that toiletries bag. And then I also did some shopping at Gatwick Airport after I'd gone through security to get some bigger liquids. Because I'm gonna be in Thailand and Southeast Asia for at least a month or two, I will definitely get through bigger bottles of liquid, of shampoo and conditioner. So I just bought this Aussie Miracle Moist shampoo and Aussie Miracle Moist conditioner. I'll probably be sharing these with Jeremy as well, to be honest, but yeah. I just bought them after going through security and also I got this 20 sun cream which will be my main sun cream and I got some bug spray and a body wash this stuff is like 95p in boots Jeremy was like just buy it in Thailand it's gonna be cheaper and I'm like no no it's so cheap in boots like 90p for this I thought it was quite good and what I also like about this even it's men's two for one but I use it because it has these which is quite nice. So wherever you are, you can just hook it, hook it on the shower. Brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping. So we have my toothbrush. I always bring my electric toothbrush on my trips with me now, just because it's a nice little luxury to have my electric toothbrush while backpacking. That also requires the charger. So I have that here. I have in here my speaker. In the past, I've brought this with me in my valuables bag. However, because I have a smaller valuables bag now than what I had in the past, I'm carrying my speaker in my main bag. 
and also the charger for it. It's the Ultima Ears Wonder Boom 2. Then I have my Tropic Feel Cruiser backpack. This is just like my foldable backpack, which I can just take on everyday adventures. So if I'm leaving the hostel for the day, just want going on a day trip, going to the beach, I just want to bring a few things with me that won't fit in the bum bag. This backpack is really, really amazing. I absolutely love it. I've been taking it on my backpacking trips for at least over a year now, I think. I have a tiny little packing cube here. This one's by Osprey. And in here I have all of my underwear, so my thongs, and I think I brought eight with me on this trip, which is less than I usually bring. I normally like to bring 10. Yeah, this is a small packing cube. I'm trying to be as minimal as possible. So as long as I do some washing every single week, then this should be good. And I do have one more packing cube actually. And in here, I believe I have my swimwear. So if you saw my previous packing video for Turkey, I pretty much brought exactly the same thing. I have my purple bikini bottoms. I have this top from Roxy, which I quite like. This pink kind of, well, pinky peachy salmon top from Gymshark, which is good for like sportier water sports, let's say. I have my trusty high-waisted bikini bottoms from ASOS. I always wear these. I'm surprised they are still intact because I just wear these bikini bottoms all the time. And then I have a couple more bikini tops. I have this bluey purple one with butterflies from Oh Polly, I think it's from. And then I have this fancier black bikini top from ASOS, which is quite nice. I think it's quite flattering. Are you recording right now? Yes, I'm recording. I didn't stop. And the final thing in my swimwear packing cube is my reversible swimsuit. This is from Rip Curl and it's just great because on one side it's got these nice flowers and then on the other side it's just a nice kind of pale pastel blue. So it's just nice having that as a versatile item in the backpack. This is a fold, it doesn't look foldable. This is a foldable bag. It folds up really, really tiny. And I use this as my laundry bag. As you can see, I've already unfolded it because I've put in here the underwear that I was wearing yesterday on the plane. But yeah, I always like to have a little foldable bag as my laundry bag. Oh, I actually have another pair of shoes. So I showed you that I had my pink sandals, my pink trainers. <laughs> Clearly I like pink shoes. And then because we're in Thailand, I've also bought my hiking sandals. I've had these for absolutely years, but I don't bring them on every trip, only the ones which I think they'll be particularly appropriate. And these are great because you can hike in them, but also you can get them wet and that's kind of what they're designed for. So if I go on like any adventure trips where we have to walk through streams or if there is a part of the ocean where it's very hard underneath the foot and I want to keep something on my feet, these are just good for that. They're not the most fashionable. I don't really like the way that they look, but they are very, very practical and I thought they would be very, very good for a trip in Southeast Asia. You may know I always keep my shoes in my backpack in a shower cap just because it keeps them nice and clean and separated from everything else in the backpack. I have a couple of sticks for my GoPro so I have the floaty handle here so that if I drop the GoPro in the water it will float up to the top with this so it's good to go scuba diving with this one and then I have this big handle which was given to me by my friend Ed because he said he didn't really use it anymore. It's just basically a nice long handle for the GoPro if I want to do anything super adventurous and have the GoPro at a length away from me. So that's just quite nice, I might use that. Oh, we have this tiny little bum bag. This is what I use when I go running, just so I can bring my phone and maybe a key, a bit of money on me, just so when I go running or if I'm doing something super sporty but I just wanna bring a few things with me, it just attaches to me, which is quite nice. And finally, a super random one to finish on, I just have my multivitamin gummies. I'm gonna take one right now. I love these. I think I've mentioned it in a video before. 
ever since I've started taking these multivitamin gummies, my lips don't get half as dry as they used to. I think that's the only difference I found in them. It's just it's one of those things that just kind of makes me feel better that I'm getting some vitamins in my day, which especially when you're in a country where you might be having unfamiliar foods, that's just quite nice to know and gives you a little bit of peace of mind. But anyway, I have made this bed sufficiently messy. <laughs> But that is it. That is everything that I've packed in my backpack. And like I said, I will show you what I've packed in my valuables bag and my bum bag as well, but I'm gonna save that for another video. I'll probably film that in the next destination, but you will be seeing that. Um, I need to put this all back in my backpack now because we are gonna be leaving Bangkok today and we are gonna be going to Chiang Mai on the sleeper train overnight. It's all very exciting. It's like go, go, go right from the start of this trip. But as usual, I'm gonna be vlogging the whole thing. But anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.